Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 145 and we are looking at chapter nine, performance task. All right, so here we have a map. You can see that the lake functions as the very center of the map and we have it going, lines going off in Lee's direction, the playground, Mabel's home, the bookstore, the school, and Rita's house, okay? And this is Mabel's neighborhood. Now here it says, use a compass. Uh, a compass shows eight directions. Use a protractor to measure the angle between southwest and west, right? So it wants us to find this measurement right here, and we're gonna use our protractor to do that. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video, use your own protractor to see if you can figure it out, and then come back to see if you're able to get it right. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's see if you were able to do it. So here, I'm gonna line my protractor up. I'm looking between, it says the distance between southwest and west. So I'm gonna line my protractor up just right. And I can see that it's pointing right here to in between 40 and 50, so that's 45, or in between 130 and 140. So it's either gonna be 45, degrees or 135 degrees. Now, what kind of angle is this? This is an acute angle. So therefore it has to be what? It has to be 45 degrees. Now, we could have figured this out another way without ever having to use our, um, without ever having to use our protractor. How else could we have found this? Well, I know that this angle right here is a right angle, right? So this is going straight up and down, this is going straight left and right, so that's a right angle. So that's 90 degrees. And I know that this line right here cuts right in the middle. The southwest line cuts right in the middle between south and west. So all I had to do was divide that by two. Two goes into nine four times. Four times two is eight. Nine minus eight is one, what do I do next? Bring down the zero. Two goes into 10, five times. Five times two is 10, and 10 minus 10 is zero. And so that's another way I could have found it without having to use my protractor. All right, now let's turn to page, uh, turn to page 146. All right. Now, what is the angle measure, measure of a full turn? All right, so imagine that you're facing this way and you're gonna go all the way around. Now, you may already know the answer to this, but if not, that's okay. From here to here is how far? 90 degrees. From here to here is how far? 90 degrees. From here, so there, there, from here, to here is how far? 90 degrees. And then go all the way back around is what? 90 degrees. And what is 90 times four? Four times zero is zero. Four times nine is 36, 360 degrees, right? So full turn is 360 degrees. Now that's a, that's a, a math number that you should have memorized. But if not, you can use multiplication to figure it out. Now, the full turn on a compass is divided into eight directions. What is the angle measure in degrees from one direction of the compass to the next when moving clockwise? All right, so here we have our compass. So north, north, south, east, west. Now here, it's divided into four parts using the cardinal directions, but then we're gonna have these directions as well. And so here is northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. So what is the distance from here to here? Now we actually already figured this out, didn't we? We figured this out on the last page. But what we could also do is we could take 360 degrees 
and divide it by eight, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Eight goes into three zero times. Eight goes into 36 four times. Four times eight is 32. 32 minus, or 36 minus 32 is four. What do I do next? Bring down the zero. Eight goes into 45 times. Five times eight is 40. 40 minus 40 is zero. Right? So we get 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees each time, right? All the way around that compass. There you go. I think that's a little bit easier to see. All right. Now, Mabel and her father are at the lake. They are facing north. Use the map on the previous page to complete the table. All right. So direction from the lake. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the cardinal direction or the, the compass direction and how many degrees they are from that, okay? So, mate, let's go look at Mabel's home, right? So Mabel's home is located due, uh, due east, okay? So if you're in the middle of the lake, it's straight east, okay? So, it is, Mabel's home is east. So how many degrees would we have to go to face east? Well, we would go from here to here. That's um, straight. Uh, that's a, just a right angle, and so it's going to be ninety degrees. All right. Now let's look at Lee's home. Okay. So standing at the lake, we want to go to Lee's home. We're going to go up that direction, and so what is that direction? Northwest. Okay. So northwest. Right now, I want to see how many degrees it is. So here, you can see you got to go to get northwest. You got to go 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then this little bit right here. And how far is that? 45. So you're going to have to go 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 45. Now, three zeros plus five is five. Nine times three is what? 27 plus 4, 13. Okay. Uh, or 20, no, not 20, not 13. Sorry, 27 plus 4 is 31. There we go. So we'd have to, so you'd have to go 315 degrees. All right, what about Rita's home? So let's like Rita's home. Rita's home is southwest. Okay, so we're going to go southwest. So how far do we have to go? Well, we know to go from here to here is 90. From here to here is another 90. And then what was this again? This is going to be 45 degrees. Right? So now we got to go 90, 90, 45. 90, 90. 45. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 9 plus 9 is 18. Plus 4 is 22. Okay, so 225 degrees. All right, what about Rita? What about the school? All right, we see here the school is straight down. Straight down is south. Now this one you might already know because this is one of the ones you want to memorize. But if I'm facing north and I need to turn to go south, I have to turn 190 degree, 290 degrees. And 290 degrees is 180 degrees. And that's also a straight angle. And a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. Now Mabel and her father turn clockwise 135 degrees. Where are they facing? All right. So 135 degrees minus 90 degrees because I want to see if I can get turnout All right so 5 minus 9 is 5 I have to regroup this comes to 0 this comes to 13 13 minus 9 is 45 okay so they're going to turn they're going to turn one whole to, uh, one 90 degree turn and then half of a 90 degree turn so we're going to go from north 
They're going to turn. They're going to be facing east. They're going to turn one more. So they're going to be facing southeast. Okay. So what is facing southeast? Southeast is the bookstore. Okay. So now they're going to be facing the bookstore. Okay. So where are they facing? They are facing. Store. All right, now let's look at page 147. Here we have the bookstore. Mabel bought a, uh, a door sign for her bedroom with her name on it. Find out if each of the letter in her name is, um, is symmetric. Okay, so can we divide her the letters of her name so that they fold over perfectly. How could I divide the M? So actually, let's go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure these out, and then come back and we'll look at them together. All right, so how do we do this? All right, so with the M, how can we do it? Divide it like that. So yes, the M is good. What about the A? Can I divide the A? I can divide it just like that. So yes, the A is good. What about the B? Can I divide it like that? Mm -mm. But I can divide it like that, and it folds over perfectly. So that's good. What about the E? Can I fold the E here? Mm -mm, no, that doesn't work, but I can do it here. So the E does work. What about the L? So I can't divide it here. I can't divide it here. Interestingly enough, I could divide it here, and that would fold up perfectly. But this bar down here is a little bit short, so it only comes like right there. So no, the L does not work. All right, so the M, A, B, and E are symmetric. But the L is not. All right. Well, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.